Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth SAS tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create nested styles using SAS. <laughs> Alright then guys, so in the last tutorial we made some variables right here and we applied those variables to these simple rules right here. Now in this tutorial I want to take a look at how we can nest styles. And nesting styles are pretty cool for two reasons. The first reason is that it takes a lot less time to create those styles. And uh, the second reason is that it keeps all your styles for particular elements or sections on your web page together in one block, if you like, rather than spreading them out in different rules down here. So let's take a look at these nested styles. How do we do them? Well, what we're going to do is style up all of these links within the main navigation right there. So all the elements we need to style are going to be within this main nav. And we can see that from the HTML. Here's the main nav. Then within it, we've got a wrapper, UL, LI tags, and the anchor tags. So we're going to style all those bad boys up, and we can use nested styles to do that within this rule. So we do this by going inside this rule, this code block right here, and we can write whatever element within this element that we want to style right here as a normal selector. So I could say, grab the UL tag in the main nav just by writing that. And then we can pop our styles here. And this is pretty much the same as saying main nav ul and doing all our styles in there. But instead of separating those rules out into different rules down here, then we're just keeping everything within this main nav code block. So it's pretty cool. And this is what it's going to output this rule to here in the styles.css when it's compiled. So anyway, let's delete that and we'll pop our rules in here. So we're just going to give this a width of 100% for now. That's all we need to do with the ul. I'm going to save that. All right, next thing we want to do is grab the li tags. And now if we wanted to, because the li tags are sitting within the ul, we could go in here like this and we could say li and we could nest it within the ul and do our styles there. But I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because I don't like to nest things too deeply. And yeah, three levels isn't too deep, but if we had extra elements within this li tag, like an A, and then imagine in the A we had span tags that we want to style, then we start to lose track of these things right here, where things are opening and closing. So really, I don't like doing that much. Where I can get away with it, I prefer to just do them all within the kind of parent element, the overall parent, if you like. All right, Because these are the only li tags within this main nav here, these are the only li tags there, then this thing right here, main nav, then li, is only going to apply to them. This is like the difference between these two rules. I could say main nav ul, oops, ul li, and do some rules in there, or I could do main nav li, and do some rules in there. So this one right here is like this, and this one right here is if we nest the li within the ul, okay? So I'm going to do it this way. Get rid of those dudes. And then the li tags, we want to float to the left. And we also want to give them a width of about 14%, something like that. We'll all fit in with that. And uh, that will do for now. So let's save that. And we're going to notice all of these links now floating left. We've lost that background color. And that's because we floated all of these li elements to the left. Therefore, the height of this ul container has collapsed. All right. So to do that, we're going to have to clear these floats, and we're going to do that shortly. I'll show you how we can do that. For now, let's style up those A tags. And again, I'm not nesting it within the LI tag right there for the same reason. Okay. So the A tags, I want to give this a color, but I'm not going to put the code right here for it. What I'm going to do is store that hex code in a variable up here. So we're now to create variables. We just do a dollar sign, and we're going to call this variable off white. And I'm going to set this equal to hash f8, f9, fb. All right, cool. So now we can just come down here and say we want the color to be off white. Cool. All right, then. What else do we want to do with these a tags? We want to give them a text decoration of none to get rid of that underlying style. Uh, padding, we'll say about 10 pixels or 16 pixels rather, just to spread them out a little bit. Uh, we'll display them as block. And then we'll say text align to the center. All right, cool. Now, we're not going to see those 
A tags anymore because we've given them a color of off white so they're not showing up on this white background so what we really want to do is get that UL height back so that it's a blue background and to do that we need to use a clear fix technique all right we need to clear these floats now there is a good way we can do that using SAS and the ampersand and I'm going to show you that later on but for now I'm just going to do a simple clear fix rule so I'm going to come down here outside of the main nav right and I'm going to create a rule which says main nav ul and then I'm going to use an after pseudo class and I'm going to give it some content. So this is going to insert some content at the end of the ul, all right? And this content is just going to be blank. It's going to be nothing, but it's going to display as block and it's also going to clear both. So it's going to clear all of the li tags that come before it. This is a nice little clear fix technique. And now you notice we get that height back on the ul and therefore it's got a bluish background this nav okay pretty cool so what i also like to do is comment where my particular styles ends especially when your nested styles get deep or quite long just so i know where things end so we can do a simple comment one line comment like this and i'll say something like end main nav okay just to keep on top of things so i'm going to save this now and i'm going to show you what this is output like to the styles.css you can see now it's split all of those nested styles into different rules. Main nav UL, main nav LI, main nav A, then we've got this um, clear fix rule, etc. So that's what it looks like in the output CSS. But writing it like this is much quicker and more efficient and it keeps all of those together where they should be. So nice little technique to use with SAS. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.